Still a handsome lead, though. Julia on 30, Roger on 35. What nationality is the author? Norman Mailer. <laughs> Kevin. American. Correct. Gets it for you. <laughs> OK. Time for a breather, but no more food. Time for a breather, another fame game question coming up on the prize board. Of course, there are two bonuses now. There's a £10, there's a £15, there's the pick again with £100 cash, which is always useful as well. If you get a bonus and you add it to your score, this is what it'll look like. Roger, your score will jump up because you're on £35 at the moment. Jill, if you had a bonus, you would move up as well. You're on £30. Kevin, a bonus would mean you'd have even more buying power. You're on £63. Listen carefully and tell me, what is my name? I'm a musical that made its New York debut in 1949. Originally, I was to be an adaptation of a James Michener short story about the tragic romance of an American and a Polynesian girl. But this became Kevin. South Pacific. Yes, indeed, South Pacific. <laughs> South Pacific. And before I start to sing, I will wash Maria Rice Monday right out of my hair. Kevin, let's have a number. Number nine, please. <laughs> number nine, OK. And a bonus for the champ certainly does enhance his position. Champ, your score's gone up to £78. Jill, Roger, all I can do is say keep pressing, keep going for the questions, that's all you can do. Which African country changed its capital city from Lagos to Abuja? Kevin? Nigeria. It was Nigeria, it was 1982. <laughs> up to 83. Which group of TV comedians had pop hits with Black Pudding Bertha, Nappy Love... <laughs> Roger. The Goodies. It was the Goodies, yeah. <laughs> And, of course, who can forget the Funky Gibbon? Everybody did it to the Funky Gibbon. Was that the Funky Gibbon? Close enough. Anyway, OK, Roger, score's going up to 40. Jill, you're on 30. In Roman times, what part of Britain was the home of the people known as the Picts? <laughs> Kevin? Scotland. It was Scotland, yes. Takes you to 88. Opened in 1776. In which city is the world-famous La Scala Opera? <laughs> Kevin? Milan. It is Milan. A beautiful opera house as well. And there's the bell. Time for our final gift shop. Final gift shop coming up. It's on sale to the champ. Champ, you're £93, you're £53 ahead. Buy when you hear the very low price from Maria. With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes, she could certainly ride to Banbury Cross on this mighty steed. Beautiful, rocking black bests will take any child on many adventures. Normally priced at £170, it can be yours for only 13 from Merry Thought and Sale of the Century. Yeah. Oh, this is... This is really you, isn't it? Mm. Cuddly toys and all that. Honestly, Maria, at your age. Do you, <laughs> do you actually do you ride horses? You've ever been well, on Well, I used to have a horse, but I got thrown off and injured my back. Really? Aww, so. <laughs> oh, poor old thing. It's a shame. Mind you, I don't blame the horse, do you? <laughs> Thank you very much, Peter. <laughs> With a straight lump saying, go on, get up, get over those fences. <laughs> £170 worth for £13. Hey, that is, that's a good buy, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's now, a bargain. Now, isn't Kevin, I am not insinuating that no. you will personally get pleasure from this. Well, you never know. Well, you never know, do you, Kevin? This is absolutely true, <laughs> Kevin. Stranger things have happened. But I'm sure you know some kid who will really enjoy it. 170 for 13, that seems like the right price to me. 13 pounds. 13 pounds, who thinks of the right price? Yes. <laughs> yep, Champ for him with the right price as well. And he's buying everything inside. I'm going to be cleared out at the end of the show, I can see. Kevin, you're down to 80 pounds. Bobby Robson's successor as manager of the Inn is Kevin. Graham Taylor. Oh, yes, you know about football as well. Can I ask you a personal question, Champ? Is there anything you don't know anything about? Um, seems very unlikely. <laughs> seems very <laughs> unlikely. The British nurse executed by the Germans, Kevin. Edith Cavell. It certainly was, yes, World War I. Impressionism or abstract art? Which is, the, which is chiefly associated with the artist Pete Mondrian? <laughs> Kevin? Abstract. It is abstract. You know about art as well. Okay, dope. Let's turn our attention to the Fame Game board for our final Fame Game question. That's coming up. One bonus is gone. There's a £10 there. There's another biggie. £25. And, of course, the £100 cash. The champers had that before. The scoring situation, well, they need the bonuses. Roger, you need a bonus. You're on £40. Jill, on 30 You need the money as well. Kevin, you don't need any money whatsoever. You're on £95. Listen carefully. What am I? I am any of between six and ten thousand species of low, green, non-woody plants. Roger. Grass. Grass is right. That's a nice <laughs> anticipation, Roger. Yes. <laughs> now then, Roger. Roger, there are two bonuses there. You could do with the 25. It would take you within shooting distance of the champ. Let's have a number. Number three, please. Number three. Let's have a look. Oh, you've got a bonus. Number ten. Number bonus. All the bonuses help. We added to your score. Maria, what about the big one? Well, the pick again is behind number one, and the big one, as you put it, was behind underneath, behind number four. Okay, dokie, the bonus. It all helps here on Sale of the Century. 
As we come to our final round, it's the speed round, folks. It's you against the clock, you know that. That scoring situation now in the light of the bonus, let us clarify it. Roger, you're on £50. Jill, you're on £30. Kevin, our champ, £95. You're £45 ahead. You know your positions, sir. Trust? Okay, do Trust in me. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock. There's the time. Good luck, Roger. Good luck, Jill. And especially you, Kevin, our champ, going for the car. The very best of luck. The time for you starts. Now, which sea animal has a name that derives from the Greek meaning eight feet? Kevin? Octopus. Correct. How many of the vowels are contained in the word facetious? Kevin? Five. Yes. What island is famed for Havana cigars? Kevin? Cuba. Correct. The creator of Chief Inspector Wexford is Ruth Pooh, Kevin? Brindle. Correct. Complete this 1955 film title, Love is a Many Splendid What? Kevin? Thing. Correct. Beginning with G, which mythical creature has the winged body of a lion and an eagle? Kevin? Griffin. Correct. What are the surnames of the outrageous comedy duo with the given names? Kevin? Cannon and Bull. Hail and pace it was. What colour skin is associated with John DeSuffers? Kevin. Yellow. Correct. Beginning with D, what is the nickname of the jazz trumpeter John Burks Gillespie? Kevin. Dizzy. Correct. What word meaning emperor was the title of the German ruler Wilhelm II? Kevin. Kaiser. Kaiser's right. In Michael Bond's book, at which London station did the... Kevin. Paddington. Paddington Bear. Right. Lolly, Doe and Spondulux. Kevin. Slang terms for money. Absolutely right. In which South American country would you visit the city of Bogota? Kevin. Colombia. Correct. On what day is the Jewish Sabbath celebrated? Kevin. Saturday. Correct. Which newspaper? Actually, the time is up. The champ has got it. 155 pounds. <laughs> wow, what can I say? <laughs> it was the big one for the champ, and he went for a very big way. 155 pounds. That is a terrific run. A terrific run of big scoring games here on Saint of the Century. We'll get to you in a moment, champ. Roger, you were on 50 at the end. Jill, you were on 30 at the end. He's a difficult man to beat. I hope we get something nice for you. Yes, as usual, he ran away with all the prizes. You didn't actually win any prizes, but Roger and Jill, you both take with our compliments the beautifully illustrated Times Concise Atlas of the World. Thank you both thank you. for playing and trying. <laughs> oh, thanks very much indeed, Roger, and thank you very much indeed, Jill. But of course, they come up against the champ, who is in such fine form that he has produced on Sailor the Century some of the biggest scores ever, including tonight's £155. And do you know what? We're going shopping directly after this. Come to the club. Come on. Be ready tonight to meet Alistair McLean's Golden Rendezvous. Armed terrorists hijack a Caribbean cruiser. Why would anybody want to hijack this ship? There's enough multi-millionaires aboard the ship to turn Wall Street a whitish shade of pale. Approximately one billion dollars worth of American gold. You're going to attack an American battleship. A star-studded caster aboard for Golden Rendezvous. Tonight at 8 on Sky One. Touchstone Pictures presents the story of a mom, a dad, a dad, and another dad. We all live together. Okay. They're a modern family with one small problem. I'm getting married. Will you miss me? Mary, I love you. Now, they'll stop at nothing stop! to keep the right woman... I love you. Oh. ...from marrying the wrong man. We gotta stall the wedding till Peter gets back. I'm starting a wave. Three men and a little lady. You look very beautiful. I look like a dork. At a cinema near you from Friday. Go! Let's have some. No, they're mine. Go! I'll be your best friend. No, anyway, I've got a best friend. Oh, that. yeah? But I bet you haven't got one of these. Oh, wow. Is it? No, but I might let you borrow it if you borrow me your crisps. <laughs> All right, then, as long as we swap them back at home time. <laughs> You'll never grow old in golden wonderland. Separate detergent and softener could mean spending more than you need. Stop. Why buy two? Just buy bold. It's where the smart money goes. Saturday at 7, there's a bright new free spirit. Hitting your living room. Whoa! And she's come with special powers. See this lamp? I'll turn it on. <laughs> Jean's got her taken oh. on as a housekeeper. Nice, Jean. Stephen King's housekeeper. Catch that free spirit. Saturday at 7 on Sky One.
A very popular champ here on Sale of the Century, adding up another big score, and what a big score. Gosh, you've been absolutely terrific. Do you know, that last time we went through just some of the prizes that you had, you had sort of won, you won all sorts of things on train sets and microwaves and racket sets and dinner sets, and tonight, you know what you've won tonight? You've won, oh, Filofax sets and binoculars and a fondue set. You fancy a fondue? I've got a Fond Fondue, rocking horse, that should be fun. Yes. That's right. be fun. Well, let's face Best it, one. if you can't drive, the rocking horse might come in useful. Right. And of course it goes without saying that you have won a fair amount of Mizuma, which is another word for, for dough. Yes. 300 pounds worth of cash, I'll keep it in my pocket safe, you can trust me, champ. How does it feel? feel fantastic good? and exhausting. Fantastic and exhausting. You can't stand the strain much longer, I hope. Your feet are probably killing you, your brain's probably killing you. Probably the wheelbarrow with all the prizes and the money's probably killing you as well. Tell you what, champ. Let's go shopping. Well, as I said, you're into the big money. £573. A win tonight is £155. 728, is that what the magic numbers are? £728 is a fantastic score. It buys you this fabulous prize. Kevin, some cars are a compromise between function and fashion, but with this Panda you have the best of both worlds. With chic, boxy styling, this car is one of the roomiest little load carriers you could drive. Well equipped for city nights or country weekends, the Panda always looks the part. It's normally valued at around £6,000, but it's yours, Kevin, for 585 from Fiat Motor Sales, Baker Street and Sale of the Century. Come on, Kevin. The car is there. The car is yours. Let's get in the car. I think you should once again have a good look round it because I tell you what, you're off. If I can ever open the door, I can't open the door. Can't even find the door. <laughs> Why won't the door open? <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. Paul Daniels, eat your heart out. What do you think? Ah, well, even though I'm an on-driver, it it's yours good. now. You're off. Very Let's good. hitch up the rocking horse to the front. It can tow you home to Hampshire. Come on. Let's get out and do the business because we've got some serious business to do. I need a key. Here comes a key. Thanks, Kimberly. I'd like to congratulate the champ, Kimberly. The little peck in the cheek. This is the first lady to kiss you. A lot of that going on. Here's the keys to your car. Congratulations, champ. You've been absolutely fantastic. All I can say is one of the best champs we ever had. And a big story as well. Okay. From the party, we're going to make this on the next week. Bye bye. We're going to see you next time. Three new contestants going for the prizes, going for the holidays, going for the cars. Don't be late on Sky One. Have a little glass of champagne. Cheers for you and cheers for the champ. We'll see you next on Sky One. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sale of the Century is back at 12.30 tomorrow. On the news channel, world events are brought into focus on Sky World News tonight. Next here on Sky One, romantic game show, Love at First Sight. Grandy Production.